the pelvis of the common chimp. It is the last non-bipedal ape before the human lineage splits. It is non-bipedal because its femurs are angled outward and its pelvis is elongated, which indicates climbing. The chimp lives in a wooded environment where it must climb trees to find food and escape predation. Because of this environment, the chimp had no reason to walk bipedally. Bipedalism leads to a weaker, slower animal. The chimp needs to be strong and fast to survive. Therefore, the environment doesn't select for bipedalism. This is the skeleton of Artipithecus ramidus, or arty. The top part of the pelvis is short and broad, like that of humans, indicating it could walk bipedally. The lower part of the pelvis was much longer, which is very useful in climbing. Artie's foot bone shows its ability to grasp as well as its ability to walk. This anatomy suggests that this was a creature in transition. Artie's fossils were found with fossils of woodland creatures. This indicated she lived in a wooded environment. Artie's ability to climb with all fours allowed her to escape predation, but her ability to walk allowed her to forage for food in larger distances, due to an increase in endurance associated with bipedalism. This is the skeleton of Homo erectus. It was found in Kenya and is 1.5 million years old. Below the neck, it is anatomically much like Homo sapiens. The arms and leg bones are the same shape and same proportions as humans. The femurs protrude inward and the pelvis is very similar to that of humans. This anatomy strongly supports the view that Homo erectus could run and walk bipedally just like Homo sapiens. Homo erectus was a fully bipedal creature that had the ability to use tools to aid in foraging for food. Homo erectus lived in grasslands where it must travel long distances to find food. Being bipedal allows for better endurance in walking and long distance running. This endurance and tool use led to Homo erectus being an effective hunter of small and medium sized game animals. In conclusion, the change in the environment from woodlands to grasslands selected for bipedal locomotion. The environment facilitated the transition from quadrupedal arboreal animals to bipedal terrestrial animals. Mm -hmm.